Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. As you can see, I've got a review here of the Caran Dash uh, hand crank sharpener. Um, <clears throat> I had a look around for reviews on this sharpener. Couldn't really find any. I seen one video where there was just uh, somebody unpacking it, but didn't really talk that much about it. Um, and I. Th I thought that it would be a really good review to do because it's a really expensive sharpener and I really wanted to find out was it worth the money, um, is it something that people should invest in, that type of thing. So I took the plunge, uh, I bought it, I think it was £105, I think it was, it cost me. Um, the things I do to save you guys money, it's unbelievable isn't it, eh? Uh, I'm only joking. <laughs> but. Um, I really wanted to review it for you just so that in case there's anybody out there that's thinking about getting a sharpener like this because if you are aware of Caran Dash products you know that they're top of the line so what would be different about a sharpener uh, against other sharpeners of this type so um, before we get into the review but I just want to show you uh, Coda our new little puppy so I just I'm going to take the camera off and pan around a little bit for you. There he is. Coda. He's playing with his toys. Coda. He is uh 10 weeks old today, I think, or 10 weeks old yesterday, today's Monday. So we've had him a week and one day, uh, and he's, he's so much fun. It's hard bringing a new pup in um, after you've lost your dogs because uh, you love this little pup so much and, and you feel kind of like you're betraying your other dogs. Um, it's, it's, so it's kind of like a, a, a thing that you're torn between. But and I'm talking about torn, he's ripping his bed apart. Anyway, let's get back on to the review. Okay, so um, let's first of all, we'll just there's not really much on the box, okay? So there's uh, just this um, little bit of information about it here. It says the Karen Dash rotary pencil sharpener has become a cult accessory uh, for more than 80 years. Its precision of uh, execution, robustness and design has appealed to generations of pencil lovers on an office table, a school desk or at home. It is the essential tool for high quality and optimum sharpening. Okay, so and then just another f f image here in the back. Uh, and then this on the side, just letting you know the different uh, pencil widths that it will take up to. And also, you know, it, the different uh, barrel shapes that it will accept as well. And then there's this bit here, which uh, the, the actual sharpener will do different uh, styles of sharpening. So you can uh, set it for a blunt sharp or a really sharp, sharp. <laughs> but so let's actually get into the box and take a look at the sharpener itself. So, uh, first thing is the, the desk clamp. They're not joking when they're talking about robustness either, guys. I mean, this is just the desk clamp, and it's really heavy. Um, and then here's the sharpener. Let's lift this foam out. Okay, let's move that to the side. You'll probably be able to hear Coda in the background just jumping all over the place. I hope to take this off. Come on, over here. Okay, now, I mean, like I just said to you there about they're not kidding about robustness with the, the, the desk clamp. But this is just phenomenal. The weight on this is really heavy. This isn't something that's going to break dead easily or anything like that. This this will last you a lifetime. There's no doubt about that. Uh, in terms of the actual um, 
overall quality, the build quality of the sharpener. It's it's just it is beautiful. Um, you can see here on the front you've got the Karen Dash logo. Uh, this is where you put the desk clamp, either in the front, at the side, in the back, or the other side. So you've got various options there, depending on what side you want it on your desk. Uh, you can see here you've got two pincers at the top. You pull, you squeeze those in. They're actually quite stiff. So I'm going to say that people who have got arthritis in their hands may struggle a little bit with this. And the mechanism to pull this out as well um, is not hard, but again, I think some people with uh, arthritis in their hands might struggle a little bit with that. But it's 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 strong. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there's like three teeth there which grip hold of the pencil. Now they are metal and depending on, I mean we'll have to have a look and see whether they're going to damage the pencil barrel because I've seen some pencil sharpeners, in fact I have one, where it has rubber teeth and it holds the pencils quite well but it doesn't do any damage. Uh, down at the side here we have a little um, tray which is where all the sharpenings go into. Um, this is, you undo this to get to the actual sharpening mechanism, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, this handle here, really nice and simple movement, um, really easy. Uh, and then down at the bottom here again, it has this uh, sticker which just lets you know that it's this device here. You twist this device um, anti-clockwise and it tells you there so anti-clockwise for the sharp point you can just see and then clockwise for a blunt style point so but the so I'm gonna set it first of all for a okay so the the real test is how the pencils are going to sharpen so I've got a relatively blunt uh, luminance pencil here so we'll put it in um, and we'll after this after I've done this we'll take a little look at the barrel to see if the the teeth have made any um, damage so the first thing I notice is it's a really nice action when if, whenever it's uh, turning around. Some pencil sharpeners that I've used in the past that are like this, they, they will kind of like um, click on the way around. It's, it's almost like that they're hitting something. I don't know whether that's just a, a mistake on, on or a bad one that I've purchased or whatever. Right, I'm just going to take a look at it because it doesn't seem at the minute it doesn't seem like it's like there's a cutoff point whenever the pencil gets to its full sharpness. Um, yeah, it 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 wouldn't appear that there's a cutoff point. In other words, that the sharpener will stop sharpening when it gets to a point. I think it just keeps sharpening. So you're going to, if if you did get this, you would definitely have to look out for that. Um, in terms of the barrel, I'm not too sure if you can see that, but there's definitely marks left on the barrel of the pencil. So that is not that great, really. Um, but it's not. It's obviously not going to do any damage to the pencil. It's just like the aesthetic of the of the pencil whenever you're using it. But it does leave a really nice. Point. I'll have some images coming up as well for you. Uh, I'm going to do a little test on uh, the. I've got uh, a Pablo pencil here as well, so um, obviously I, I will do uh, like a comparison of some sharpeners that I have, and I'll use different pencils. I'll, but when I'm doing reviews, I always keep it to the to just about the particular company that I'm reviewing. Okay, so the pencils that I'm using are all going to be Karen Dash pencils as well. So, um, so again, it's set for the really sharp side of it. Right. And just take a look. See, it, it would be nice if it had the, the stop where it wasn't going to keep going when it got to that sharpness. But 
it does it does deliver a really nice sharp point clean sharp point um, and again you can see those little teeth marks on the barrel of the pencil so I'm, I've got one more uh, Pablo pencil here it's got a bit of a, a point on it but I'm going to set this round to the dull and see how it performs so you can see there's much less resistance there and there it's you can see there that it has it has blunt the pencil which would be good for like if you're doing a little bit of burnishing or something like that it's not always great to have um, a really super sharp pencil because as soon as you do burnish and work which is something uh, a process with color pencils that you use and you're going to put a lot of pressure with the pencil um, it's best to have a kind of like a blunt core like this so that's a really nice feature on the sharpener um, this is where these the sharpenings go to and you can see there the sharpens are really really fine so that lets you know that the the mechanism inside is is doing a really nice job of the pencil when it's sharpening it's not nicking it or anything like that it's not taking big chunks out of it it's obviously set so that it's just barely touching the pencil when it's sharpening making sure that it's only got these little fine shavings which is really nice like i said i, I do think it would be better if it had that stop mechanism where um, as soon as the pencil got to the sharpness that it is set for that it wouldn't it, it would just stop sharpening but it, it doesn't appear to do that okay so is it worth the money I'm gonna say no and I, well actually it is worth it is worth the money in terms of is if you spent this money on this sharpener it's going to be the only sharpener you're ever going to need um, but there are other sharpeners out there much much less expensive than this that will do just as good a job uh, I can't see anything about this sharpener that that I haven't found in other hand crank sharpeners I have three other hand crank sharpeners from three different companies and I'll do those in a comparison video but there's there's nothing about those sharpeners that I can't see in this except for perhaps maybe the robustness this is a really really robust sharpener really really heavy duty and it is beautiful it is an iconic style as well so if you're not really interested in the robustness of it and you're not really interested in the style of fashion that type of thing of it and you're just looking for something that's going to be functional I wouldn't spend all like a hundred and five pound some of these some of these sharpeners i wanted to i, I tried to get the red one because there's a red one a silver one and then there's kind of like a rose gold one i think the rose gold one is like a limited edition but some of them are being sold off at 210 pound that type of thing i think the red and the rose gold are the most expensive ones that i've seen online uh this silver one here is the least expensive and so that was the only one that i could afford to buy for this test this review um, I definitely think £210 on a sharpener is really quite excessive uh, and, and listen you, you guys know me I love Caran Dash products and I think every single product I've reviewed so far is well worth the money you know a lot of people say that the luminance are super expensive and all the rest of it and the Pablos and things like that I personally don't see them as that for the reasons that I've already explained in the reviews but um, on this one particular item I just feel that a um, hundred a hundred plus pounds on a sharpener is a little bit excessive and there's nothing about this sharpener that you couldn't find in another one and it does pay me to say that because I love Karen Dash as a company I love their products but I've got to be honest with you guys I can't I cannot stand here and tell you yes this is well worth the money go out and buy it because um, 
I'd be lying to you and I just wouldn't do it. If you spend a hundred odd pound on, on a sharpener like this, I don't think you'll be disappointed. But at the same time, there are plenty of hand crank sharpeners out there that do exactly the same job. There's nothing on this sharpener that you wouldn't find on any other hand crank sharpeners. Anyway guys, that is my review of the Karen Dash uh, hand crank sharpener. Thank you so much for watching this review. I know it's a quick one today, but um, I thought it was really quite important to get this uh, review out to you. Bear in mind there are none out there. Okay guys, thank you. Bye.